Hello and what's up everyone. Welcome to a new video for the day as I come back with an interesting update on the upcoming Elder Scrolls game. There are hardly any gamers who have not yet played Elder Scrolls ever in their life. Though Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has been the most popular among the series, the Elder Scrolls 3 and 4 were more engaging at times when they were released back in 2002 and 2006 respectively. I have played them later back in 2010 when I had my first PC capable of only running Wolfenstein 3D without any lags. It was quite a moment. And thereafter Skyrim is still now one of the most popular among the open world RPG titles and a benchmark to all RPGs. Bethesda has already teased out the release of upcoming Elder Scrolls 6 and it is currently the top priority of the company now that the Starfield has been released. On an interview, the director of Bethesda, Todd Howard, has stated that they are currently into developing the sixth part of Elder Scrolls series after they did a concept of it while developing Starfield. It would be a massive open world even bigger than Skyrim. Skyrim is now 11 years old and till now players enjoy it with infinite availability of mods. Till now Skyrim has sold more than 60 million copies and it is one of the best RPGs ever made. Based not in the sense of story or overall gameplay, however it stands out in creating massive open worlds with interactive environment. Exploring and completing missions take many hours and easily one can keep themselves engaged for more than a year, only with this game. Of course, only if you like playing RPGs, then you will enjoy it as it lacks any in-game cinematics to attract the audiences. Elder Scrolls 6 will even have much more reactive NPCs with loads of inbuilt possibilities coded by the developer to respond to different approaches a player would make in the game, even including some weird ones. The reactiveness of the game would be even more enhanced as players would experience physical and emotional changes to the character as it would feel sleepy or tired and hungry at times when you do not eat any food. The skill tree of the upcoming Elder Scrolls will have more in-depth experience as activating skill would lead to more powerful gameplay allowing to compete over levels more quickly. Though it would be really tough to achieve a good level as it takes more than just playing the game's story. Elder Scrolls 6 would be more attractive with stunning visuals and ample room for modders to explore their creativity. Todd Howard is very optimistic on the modders and appreciate their dedicated works. It feels good to play with mods however makes the game a little unstable. I have once used 50 plus mods for Skyrim and then it crashed my whole PC with the blue screen of death. Ever since I prefer to keep what is original and just enjoy the game. Anyways, I'm really excited for this new Elder Scrolls game going to get released after more than 11 years. This time, the overall gameplay would be more engaging including cinematics and animations in between the combats and story. As Elder Scrolls is already in the development stage, with the vertical slicing, we can expect its release much sooner. We hope to get a full trailer release by the end of 2024 and a final release date in 2025. Comment me down how much you are excited to experience this true ultra realism in Elder Scrolls 6. So that's all for today's short video, hope you all have enjoyed it. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more new updates. I'll be back with new video for you all, until then see you in the next video.